What my people them and welcome back to my channel my name is Shan Shani B and in today's video we have another episode of Tech Time Tech Time, Tech Time In today's video we're just going to quickly look at some equipment that we will, well, most people may use when, um, you know, starting their YouTube channel. If I'm being completely honest with you guys, because you're just starting out, essentially, you can just um, use your phone, um, and you could use iMovie on your phone if you have an iPhone. If you have an, if you have a laptop, then you can maybe edit on your laptop using iMovie or download a software. There's so many out there, but essentially, you don't need all the equipment that i'm going to show you and to show you the stuff that i have and the stuff that may be useful for you i'm um, useful for you guys but um as i said this isn't a video for you to say you need these things go out and buy all these things because one I may not like um creating content and also um it's expensive <laughs> so just probably hold off but i'm going to show you guys anyway just because it goes in with the theme of this whole series that we are doing so i'm just going to quickly write down some stuff that we're going to go over and i then i'm just going to quickly show you guys what you guys can look at um i'm sorry if i do miss out um miss out anything i'm just literally just trying to make this video as quick as possible so things you may need and i say may because it's not a necessity you just might need them so we are going to look at um a camera um a tripod lights a hard drive a pc um yeah let's get into this so when looking for a camera um i actually had to do a lot of research when looking for my camera because i wanted to make sure that i got the not the best but i wanted to, to get sure i got a decent enough camera just because I just didn't want to film on my phone, but that's me. Most phones now have brilliant camera quality. So to be fair, you can get away with um, just using your phone. But if you do want to use a camera, I would highly, highly, highly suggest not just relying on this video for looking for what camera to get. I would actually suggest you guys go onto YouTube and look for the best vlogging camera or best cameras for YouTube. Um, there are so many videos. I, at the moment, have a Canon G7X Mark II, um, but my first camera was a G7X, the first edition. Um, that broke, and there was a hoo-ha with my camera, but I had it insured, luckily, and that's what they replaced it with. So, no, I did not spend 500 and something pounds on this camera. So, just a quick note, the Canon G7X has been discontinued. Can um, Canon no longer sell the camera, so... If you do find the camera online, you're either going to be paying a little bit more because it's kind of a rare product at the moment, or you're going to get it secondhand. So like here on you, um, Amazon, you can see that um, the camera here is actually used, um, hence why the price is so, you know, appealing. But um, yeah, so this is the Mark II. That's the camera that I have at the moment, um, which is significantly hi um, higher in price. But it's actually a good camera. But saying that, I actually think I preferred my first camera in comparison to this. But I think it's only because I'm not really ut utilising like all the settings as I probably could. You can also look at Sony products. Um, I think the Sony cameras are actually more expensive, if I'm being honest. So I believe it's a Sony, um, Sony RX100. Yeah, of Sony RX100. And... Um, that's a compact camera oh when buying a camera there are different types of cameras so you have compact cameras which are which um content creators generally will class them as vlogging cameras and then you will have like ds dslr cameras and like bridge cameras so those are kind of like the chunkier bigger cameras that you see photographers with with those cameras you can change the lenses get wider lenses fish lenses get all different types of lenses with your compact um cameras 
as um, it is what it is on the tin. It's compact. It has everything in the one place. You can't change the lens or anything like that. So, um, yeah, as I said, guys, you really don't want to be going out there and spending £600, £500 on the camera and you may not even like vlogging or anything like that. So, as I said, maybe start off on your phone um, and then maybe progress forward. But if you've got the coin and that's what you want to do, do it. But the second thing that you... So, we're going to go back over to Amazon and the second thing that you you'll need... So, you whether you have a camera or not... You may probably need this, you may not. You might have a steady surface at home that you can put your phone or your camera on, which is great. But if not, you will need a tripod. Um, tripods are just basically just help you just have, um, you know, your camera up on a steady surface. Um, and yeah, it's, yes, yeah, tripod. Um, so they do do, as you can see here, they do cam um, tripods not only for cameras, but they also do them for phones as well, which I think is excellent. Hence why I said that how you don't necessarily have to go and buy a £600 camera when you can just use a phone you already have and just buy a £13 tripod. Um, there are some tripods out there that come like like fifty pounds, sixty pounds. But if I'm being completely honest, like I've got two tripods. One just recently broke. Well, both of them are now broken, should I say? And um, but I've had them from when I first ever started YouTube. So and I and I paid like twelve, thirteen pounds for them. So I generally, unless you're out there in the wind and all your you know filming tornadoes. <laughs> I don't think you need a proper heavy, you know, duty um tripod, but yeah. So the next thing that we are going to look at is some lighting. So um again, you don't need you may not need this. A lot of YouTubers like to um actually record in natural light. Um but with me, I always tend to film my because of timing or whatever, I always tend to film my videos at night. So, um, and because I'm in my room, there's going to be no light um, at night, is there? So, I prefer these um, softbox lights. Softbox lights. Um, and I use these soft... soft uh, I can't even say it. And I use these softbox lights, like, literally on a everyday basis. So, I think they're great. Like, girls, they're actually really great when you're putting on your makeup. It helps, you know, with your flashback and, you know, harsh lines and stuff like that. So, the next light we can get is a um, a ring light. Um, I really like these. I think they're so bright, but sometimes they give me a bit of a headache because that's how bright they are, even though you can dim the light. But, and I like the effect it gives you in your eyes. So, it's trivial, isn't it? But, um, yeah, so you can get a ring light. Those are a little bit more expensive than box lights and you're getting less. So you're just getting one ring light, which you can also get in different um, sizes. Whereas with most soft boxes, soft box lighting systems, you get two, which is quite good because you can have one on like the background and then maybe one on yourself. Um, but um, yeah, so there's so many companies these days that sell ring lights as far from my knowledge, one of the best companies to sell um, ring lights is a company called Newer. I'm sure that's how you, spe you say it in the name. Yeah, but yeah, a company called Newer, um, their ring lights are meant to be really good. Um, the good thing about ring lights, you can put the camera in between the lights, so it's just focused on you, which is quite good, to be fair. Another thing that we could need, this I think is a necessity, regardless of anything. This is, if you're not going to buy anything from this video, buy this. So, a hard drive is definitely important. Um, I, as I said, I said this in the earlier video, I'm a Virgo. And Virgos are very, like, you know, particular and organised to a certain extent. Um, so, I kind of feel like hard drives are important because it keeps you organised. And if you don't decide that you, if you decide that you don't, you no longer want to do YouTube, you can still use the hard drive to help organise your stuff for work or, you know, like documents within the household. So, the hard drive will always become useful. Or you can always sell it to someone. Someone's always needing a hard drive. I mean, sell it to me. I need another hard drive. <laughs> this is like my second hard drive. Um, but yeah. So, the next thing you will need is well you probably really have this but just in case you don't um not necessarily a pc you could have a pc a laptop an ipad whatever it is that you can edit on you can actually edit on your phone as well in terms of a laptop though if you are going to use a laptop 
my personal opinion. I only like buying laptops that are either HP... Oh, I forgot to take Sony. But, yeah, HP, Sony or Apple. At the moment, I've got a MacBook. And I'm so happy that I actually got a MacBook because the Apple are just for creatives, I believe, to be fair. Um, but if not, I would definitely suggest getting a HP or a Sony. Um, they never let you down. I have heard that Lenovo and um, Dell are good any laptop will do because most system um is either going to be a microsoft operating system or a mac operating system this part is literally down to choice yeah it's all about exploring guys um as i said i probably wouldn't go jump in the deep end and just buy all these things at once um because as i said you know just get used to it first build your audience first and it's a part of the journey as well because then people will remember you for you know when you first started to in the future when you develop your skills and your camera quality and whatever so don't be embarrassed if you know right away everything's not perfect as i said it's create it's um creative none of it's meant to be perfect so um yeah i hope you guys enjoy that video this video and i hope it was helpful um i know it's a bit rushed but you know i'm trying out here um, i will see you guys tomorrow where we'll be talking about um different types of softwares we can use and um websites that we can use to help you know create more magic <laughs> um but yeah if you're new to my channel make sure you like share subscribe and if you're a returning subscriber wow my people there thanks for your support and i will see you guys in my next video later